Hey guys, take a moment to watch the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to fix your iPhone if you're getting lines, whether it's horizontal or vertical. It may be bad as this one or slightly less, but whatever the case may be, we're going to show you some fixes that you can try at home without getting a full screen replacement. So let's get started. So whenever you're having this experience in lines, first thing to make sure is your phone screen is actually clean because it could actually impact you getting these lines if there's dust or debris. So if you have a microfiber cloth, something like that, just simply wipe it down. You don't have to do too much to simply wipe it down so it's clean. Now, the other thing to consider is if you recently put on a new screen protector temper glass and it's causing the issue, it could be that screen protector temper glass actually interfering with the display itself in that case you will need to go ahead and take that off and see if that fixes a problem for you now if you're still having the issue the next thing you want to do with your iphone here is you're going to try to see if there's a connector that you can possibly uh, get it back or reconnect it by massaging your iphone screen now for this method you just want to lock it and then take your thumb or, or your fingers and you're going to massage it gently in circular motion across the screen now it does sound or look a little silly but this is something you want to do just simply across the board just pressing it in to make sure that there isn't any loose connector anywhere on your phone and when you do that your phone might try to activate so you're just going to massage it and push it down as best as you can with your fingers and across the board just don't do it too much you don't want to break the screen but you just keep on pressing it around see if that changes the display now if you notice that maybe you press somewhere and all of a sudden the lines change it that could be there's a connector underneath that that possibly could get reconnected by pressing it now you do want to be very gentle with it now the next thing to do if you have to done that is a force restart on your iphone so in order to do a force restart you're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down finally hold that side button until the screen goes completely black and once you see the Apple logo appear, you let go of that button. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold that side button just like that. And you want to hold that side button just like that, like I am right now. And it's going to ask you to slide to power off. We're just going to hold it until the screen is black, just like that. And once you see the Apple logo appear, right, you'll let go of that button. That's known as a force restart, which, again, shuts on the phone completely, reloads the code. So if there's a software-related issue, impacting the hardware it will fix it for you and this method is safe you'll not lose any of your personal data like photos videos apps anything like that but a simple quick way to do to fix most of the software related problems on your iphone now after doing that if you're still seeing those lines the next thing to play around with is in your setting of your iphone you want to see the actual auto brightness it can sometimes interfere with those lines so in order to do that you're going to go to settings and then accessibility and then under accessibility here you'll be able to see a uh, display right and then you could play with the option to have auto brightness off or on and that might help you kind of toggle around with this see if it does help and then turn it back on if it doesn't help as well now other things that you can try to do in order to gonna help with if those lines are really bad and you can access this menu is trying different color filter sometimes if you use a color filter it also does help but again this is it's kind of a temporary solution the different tint level that's available so you just turn that on and then check it out as well now after doing that and if you're still having issue the next thing to do is see if you can update your phone software possibly could fix it so in your settings you're going to go to general software update and check if there's a software update available if there is go ahead and update your phone and uh, and who knows it may possibly fix your phone depending on if the previous update caused some issue with the hardware and screen itself now after you have done all of that hopefully it's fixed for you if so please make sure to like and subscribe button and i will see you guys next time